All right, guys, Connor here with your workout for Saturday. Question of the day, where is your favorite spot to go get ice cream? Um, I don't discriminate anywhere. I can get ice cream is fine. All right, warm up. We're going to start with three rounds, 30 seconds of high knees, 30 seconds in the bottom of an overhead squat, and 10 alternating leg V-ups. Let's see what these look like. Not for time, just moving around to get warm. Your high knees, pulling the knees up to the chest, nice and soft on your feet. And then the overhead squat, I'm going to take my PVC. I want to focus on a good overhead position, so elbows locked out. That bar is directly overhead. I'm going to sit into the bottom of that squat and try to keep that torso upright. Right knees out over my toes, chest up tall. And I would pause there for... 20 seconds and then V ups one leg at a time going from a hollow position chest and thighs meet in the middle if you need to you can bend your knees rather than keep the legs straight all right conditioning three parts three two one go you're gonna do 60 calories for men 45 for women and then 60 wall balls, 25 box jump overs. Then you'll rest until the 12 minute mark and you'll do 100 double unders, 60, 45 calories, and then 100 double unders. And then you'll rest until the 24 minute mark and you'll do the same thing as the first part, just in the opposite order. 25 box jump overs, 60 wall balls, and then another set of calories. So, Let's talk about this workout a little bit. First, the calories. Anytime you're getting on to do your 60-45, we don't want it to take longer than five minutes. Right? That is uh, definitely a hard limit there just because we're going to run into the time cap. Um, so let's cut the number down so that we can keep it under that. Then the wall balls. On both sets, you should be able to do it both at the beginning of the workout and at the end of the workout. You should be able to do it in definitely no more than four sets, so like four sets of 15, something like that. If you don't have a wall ball, grab a barbell or light dumbbells, and you'll do uh, some light thrusters. And then the box jump overs, you're going to actually jump all the way over the box, so not touching the top. Um, so choose a height that you're comfortable with. You can jump over, turn around, and jump back without hesitating. And then finally, the double unders. No more than a minute 30. That gives you plenty of time for a couple trips in there. All right, that middle part, the 100 double unders, the calories, and then the double unders, that should be easier than the either end of calories, wall balls, and box jump overs. Right, the middle part should allow you to feel okay, not totally crushed by the time you have to do the first part over again in reverse order. Um, so, calories, if you don't have a machine, go for a run. Not going to demo that. Um, the wall balls, if you don't have a wall ball, like I don't right now, we're going to do some thrusters. So for the thruster, we want to make sure that good front rack, you're going to squat down, drive up till you're locked out into that next rep. It should be light. Right? Make sure you can do just like with the wall ball, big set. And then box jump overs. I don't have an actual box, so what I can do, I can grab this cooler and that looks like something I can jump over so I'm going to jump over it and then turn around and jump back right two foot takeoff two foot landing all right so double unders if you don't have a jump rope you can go with jumping jacks or find a line on the ground and do pogo jumps over it. Um, so that's your workout for Saturday. If you guys are on social media, use the hashtag SCF virtual and stay safe and healthy.